And hello, everyone. Brad Logan alongside Jared Redding for 24-7 Sports inside the Rebels and Rebs. 247.com. Jared, today it was nothing special. It's almost like the old adage by Herm Edwards, a win is a win, and you play to win the game. That kind of what happened today. Yeah, I mean, I, when uh, Kevin first walked in, you know, of course, we, he walked in when Ole Miss beat Troy 28-10, to 10, and he says, all right, you know, it's good to get a win. He didn't do that this time around, even though they won by one score a game. It, it, it really felt like, you know, one of those – games where it was like a losing press conference at right. the end where it was like you know wish would have came in at halftime or else it would have been a little bit better and it was one of those where Ole Miss was up uh, 21 points so 35 to 14 although the defense got off to a rough start the offense got to clicking in the second quarter and then it was almost kind of flipped a little bit where the offense really struggled mightily and the defense you know while they did he held on at the end kind of just made things too close for comfort but you knew Ole Miss was going to run into a game like this you know you weren't going to come in and you know average 40 points a game and only give up you know touchdown maybe less like Ole Miss has done through these uh, couple games but Ole Miss is 4-0 and and ultimately those wins kind of add up but as Lane's mentioned afterwards it did not feel like a winning locker room I and mean, that just goes to show just the, the high standard that's been built here underneath uh, Kiffin where um, you know you have to get better every week you know Jackson Dart is kind of you know he was he was it's been basically said in the presser that you know this is his job now that he is kind of the starring quarterback it seems like kind of for the for the foreseeable future but he said that even though yes I have that job in my hand right now you know that means you know I can't just stop there that I have to keep holding that stand, standard week after week um, and it's something that Ole Miss is really gonna have to hold as a team because now you have the toughest conference in college football ahead of you and it's nothing but that up to you get to bowl season a couple of things to monitor of course the left hand of Jackson Dart he wore a glove in the second quarter throughout so that's something to monitor also uh, JJ Pegues, Kari Coleman, uh, Jared, we expect them back next week against Kentucky. That's at 11 o'clock kickoff here at Vaught Hemingway Stadium. And third, there was an injury to Zach Evans. We do not know uh, just how bad the injury was, but that means Quinchon Jukins uh, is going to be the only running back available in Kentrell Bullock, depending on how Evans is going forward, and also that injury to uh, transfer uh, running back Ulysses Bentley, who's got the hand injury. He's out for a couple of weeks as well. There's some injuries uh, on this team. Yeah, it's kind of one of those things. I think as a coach, you know, obviously you don't want to be in that type of situation, but at the same time, it's kind of one of the things you kind of look forward to is how are those guys going to step up, um, you know, with especially conference play where, you're, where you know every quarter, every minute of the game counts. Um, and Kevin said, you know, that there's a lot of depth, and there's most depth here now uh, since he's been there, despite so many new faces. Well, it's time for that depth to kind of uh, step up, make some stuff. We've seen that depth step step up here and there, and Jackson Dart said it best, where you know this this team has looked great at times, but they've only showed it in spurts and not always for you know a full 60 minutes. And that's something that's obviously when you have a top 15 team coming to town like Kentucky, uh, you know, you're gonna have to have all hands on deck, you know, from everybody who's on that sideline. It was the Rebels today, 35-27. to 27. They took care of, um, gosh, Tulsa, I guess, Jared, survive in advance is exactly survive what they did advance. today. Nothing special, but a win is a win, and they're undefeated hosting Kentucky right here from Oxford, Mississippi. For Jared Redding, for Tyler Comas manning the camera, I'm Brad Logan. We'll see you at Inside the Rebels and 24-7 Sports and Inside the Rebels.